Hey everyone, we are out here on the main walkway of SEMA. We have all the halls to our right here, and then we have cars in the background. You might be able to hear them doing burnouts and all sorts of crazy stuff. Stuff the Hoonigans are here as well. So uh, we're gonna walk through here, see what we can find, check out some of the cool cars that we've been uh, hearing about. When you show up here at the SEMA show, you ended up having uh, the central hall here, which has most of the performance stuff behind us. The north hall on the far side has uh, like paint and body, collision repair, painting, detailing stuff. And then the south hall over here is two levels, some industrial tire stuff and then a lot of wheels, tires, and then upstairs a lot of off-road vehicles, trucks, and everything like that. So we're going to go take a walk through here and see what we can find. So this is Sean Murdenova's Scout. This thing is pretty sweet. A little lifted build. Start off the show right here in the entryway. All the vendors here have some really cool cars like showcase their products. You got Mother's Polish with some really custom cars. You got Quick Jacks like over here, showing off cars on their lift and everything else. Uh, tires, just a little bit of everything as you walk through. A lot of vendors. Uh, and then even some big boats. That thing is so crazy. One of those boats is wicked that they, they drive them down the road up on an angle like that. Probably twin twin turbo big locks or something in it. A little bit of everything here at SEMA. This thing is super sweet. They ended up using four skinnies off of like a drag car for the wheels on this. So it tucks in real nice, but then it gives you that nice weld look. Hey, this thing is super sick. Air right up in the front of it. All tube chassis down the whole thing. That's uh a pretty crazy build. See the double frame rail that comes down, sits on. Looks like there's some coolers down below it. Sitting slammed. So if you're a big Hot Wheels fan, they have a Hot Wheels Legend tour that shows up here with all the uh, full-size cars that look like Hot Wheels, which is pretty neat. Here's a pretty common Hot Wheels car that everybody uh, knows about or has probably seen. <laughs> it's the blower in the back. It's pretty crazy. And you got the old twin mill over here. What a pretty crazy car that they've uh, built and may it come to life. This little Renault is so crazy. It's got the engine set right here in the back. Pretty crazy little build. Wide body, slammed. Yeah, that thing's super sweet. Doing some tandem drifting out here. So Chevy and Ford always have big booths at uh, SEMA. Ford is up at the very front of this hall, and then this is the GM booth where they have all their crate engines and everything sitting here. So a lot of cars, and they got some C8s we're gonna check out. It's kind of crazy that I whack out the window so you can't see inside the car. This could be the uh, C8R that they've been testing and racing. The uh, Hyper Blue or whatever they call it here at the show. The blue interior. Very sweet. Yeah, uh, I guess this would be like the convertible maybe. You see it in the back, the glass kind of can roll up and down uh, and then probably put the removable top on it. Wow. So they're putting the top up on the convertible now. So it's not a removable, it's a uh, hideaway. The six gen John Force uh, version of a Copo is really sick. Flag on the hood and then the uh, the wheels on it are really cool too. They kind of got like a matte finish on them. Apparently you can get a bunch of different colors, but this is a pretty pretty clean setup right here. This is the upper south hall. There's quite a bit of uh, like off-road, buggies, side-by-sides, wheels, tires, stuff like that for off-road community, Line X. Uh, it's the Jesse James truck, which we're gonna go check out and see here in a few minutes. So this is Jesse James's uh, 
little buggy that he built, I guess, Apache uh, slash off-road dune runner or whatever you want to call it. This thing is just wicked, like calling it a welds on the exhaust. It's got an LS in it. They even got a bunch of uh, titanium pie cuts like on the headers. And everything is what it looks like. It's pretty pretty wicked. It's got a Texas Speed engine in it. A little LS build, but all the Zeus packaging there. The big, huge suspension arms. It's pretty pretty wild ride. But this thing's pretty cool. And then it's uh, sitting in the Line X booth with all the Line X on it. With all the uh, gusseting and tubing and everything. It's just killer. I like how they just left it raw and they just kind of um, scotch bright the tubing. It's pretty pretty wicked ride. All these wide body fenders that they did. I'm not sure if they're gonna end up re welding like those in fully and then like grinding them out or if it just ends up getting left like that or what. But it's a pretty, pretty cool build that they did. All the cage in it. So this thing's probably mostly cage with a little bit of body wrapped around it for sure. Even like the, uh, the sun visor's pretty crazy. It's all billet machined and everything there. Kicker bar. It's back around to the front. So, super cool build that he did. Pretty neat just to see all the details. If you're ever looking at trucks like this from fabricated like that, as you look at just try to look at all the details. Like the billet pieces where they're all machined right there. That's just super cool. Like all of these are all chamfered. It's just not a square cut. Has his name in it. Pretty cool build here. Super clean, super nice. Everything looks like it uh, unbolts and removes, like you can just pull the whole fender off. So there's some super cool builds here at SEMA, like where they put the uh, tents up in these, like off road vehicles and stuff this thing is huge pretty crazy a wood bed on it little survivor kit back there for rescue I guess I guess this thing's like an old Jeep what do they call it it's a uh, FC quad cab pretty neat pretty neat build that they do stuff like this <laughs> it's got to be so weird to drive where literally you're in the front of the vehicle hanging out the front kind of like a VW bus or whatever pretty neat though this thing would be fun to cruise around I wonder how well it does crawling and stuff I bet it's pretty pretty decent I mean to give you an idea I'm 6'2 and this thing is quite a bit taller than that <laughs> definitely takes something to climb up into and get in there so something that's available at SEMA that not a lot of people know about is if you're upstairs in the central hall in some of these rooms, um, they have like meetings or educational things that you can go to uh, and listen about like social media or SEO, um, growing a business. I think they have things like shipping, e-commerce and all sorts of different type of stuff. So um, not a lot of them, but like a little bit of information depending on who's speaking and what there is, entrepreneurial, starting out in the business of uh, automotive and all that. So pretty neat that they offer some of that value here as well. Trailer goals. Just in case you uh, need to go racing with a few cars. Seeing <laughs> sick, all the glass. Cabinets, air integrated into the trailer and everything. Has the gate on the back for the car. Raises it up, puts it in the upper level. Thing is sick. All right, this thing is pretty wicked. Jet-powered Mac. This thing would be a, a riot to try to ride in. Holy cow. Doesn't even have a funny car cage. I guess it's got the whole crossbar there to come up. It literally got the whole cab reinforced. For Peterbilt. My bad. That thing would be crazy to drive. 910 at 157 in uh, however many thousand pound vehicle. Another cool part about SEMA if you're willing to wait in line, you can take rides in uh, 
cars that are doing drift and all that kind of stuff, but the uh, line's got to be a fair amount of weight because it's a whole line over there to get signed up. Then so. you have some builds like these twin supercharged, triple supercharged <laughs> with tons of nitrous on it. That one's twin turboed with a blower and everything builds. They're pretty neat, but uh, I'm not sure that they'd actually work well together and actually make real big power, but. They're kind of cool to just see that you can put them all together, I guess. So this is a pretty cool area back here. They have a uh, burnout pit for the Hoonigan guys to do little shows and stuff throughout the day. This is the kind of off-road stuff I need. This thing is sick. Of course, it's got an LS in the back of it, but uh, it's pretty wicked. I'm thinking this is like a King of the Hammers type deal, off-road buggy, but it's just killer. It should be super fun to drive something like this. The Campbell buggy. All the fab work in it's just insane. Yes, it is. Is this what we need? Yeah. <laughs> Things are awesome. All billet, a huge billet. Arms on the back. Like just look how beefy and the fab rear end is. That's just crazy. Just called the show over. Now Tom's gonna uh, drive it over to the after party. Trevor's heading out. Two step. <laughs> you guys haven't uh, Trevor's YouTube is Motion Auto TV. Check him out. He built the Supra and uh, has a ton of other projects. All right, everyone, gonna finish off the video here. Back in the garage. We just got back from SEMA yesterday. It was a pretty crazy event. Uh, we ended up trying to go to the Ignite party that we didn't go to last year, and it is just crazy. People everywhere, and it takes the cars forever to leave the building. Uh, we had a plan of riding with our friends Anthony and Shannon and their big lifted truck that they had at SEMA. I'll show you guys a picture of that here. And it was, uh, it was really cool. There's tons of lifted trucks, lots of people cruising out of there and everything as well, but it gets to be a mess. As soon as that 4 o'clock hits and they tell everybody to get out, um, you're trying to leave and then there's cops telling you, you can't walk here, you can't go this way, cars are headed that direction and then you're trying to get to the Ignite after party and it, it's just, it's crazy. But uh, anyway, always a good time going to those types of events, cannot wait till PRI that's in about a month away um, and going to go out there, that's a little more of my style, a little more of the things I'm into, a lot more of the performance, drag racing, aftermarket, uh, high performance, stuff like that. But maybe one day I can uh, get a car like the Mazda or we can get something like the Buick into the show. It'd be pretty neat to have in a vehicle actually in the SEMA show. Um, what would be really even beyond that would be to have it actually in a booth inside and everything else. So um, that's just some plans of hopefully in the future having a car that we build. Uh, that I end up doing or something in the show would be really fun. So that'll be it for this video. If you guys would, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button, and we'll see you in the next video.